All right, going to do a video exposing this really blasphemous marrying uh, Roman Catholic idolatry that I came across on Instagram about a year ago or so. I was meaning, meaning to do this video for quite a while, just never got around to doing it. But uh, just further showing that Roman Catholicism is just ancient Queen of Heaven Babylonian worship, that Roman Catholicism is just ancient Marian idolatry in the form of the Queen of Heaven, who they, who they just say is the Virgin Mary. And they even call her that, the Queen of Heaven. So we're going to get in some scripture after this, but this is on, this is an Instagram post. Uh, and I've actually gone back and forth with this individual on Instagram before. He's just a, a very hardcore militant Catholic uh, follower of the Babylonian religion of Romanism. But he says here on this uh, screenshot, and just check out the blatant idolatry towards Mary. And yet they still try to convince themselves, uh, Roman Catholics that is, that they don't worship Mary. He says, without Mary, there would be no Jesus. Without Jesus, there would be no holy sacrifice of the Mass. Christ gave us the sacraments as an act of love for humanity and for his church, but this act of love would not have been possible without the role of Mary. To say that she isn't important and to say that we shouldn't love and honor and respect her because it's somehow idolatry is complete nonsense. Christmas is not just the time to honor our Lord Jesus Christ, but it's also the time to honor Our Lady who is full of grace and whom God made and whom and whom God made her, our mother. Christmas is a holiday that must be celebrated the right way, the Catholic way. May you all have a blessed Christmas Eve and a holy Christmas day. Uh, to anyone who wants to defend Christmas, it's a Roman Catholic idolatrous uh, festival feast day towards Mary. Right there. But notice that, you know, uh, it's not enough to just, just to only celebrate Jesus Christ. Because let's, let's just say that Christmas actually was about Jesus Christ. It's not enough to only have Jesus Christ. Oh no, you have to include Mary into that as well. You see how they just always have to prop up Mary to the place of Jesus Christ? You know, that's why I've said that Roman Catholicism totally undermines the supremacy and the uh, actual headship and, lord and lordship of Jesus Christ over his church. And they put this goddess Mary. But here's actually some interesting scripture that gives a good insight on the origins of this Roman Catholic, this blasphemous Marian idolatry. Uh, Act chapter 19, verse 27 to 28. Here is the original Roman Catholic Marian, I guess you could say, war cry almost. Acts 19, verse 27 to 28. Uh, so that not only this, our craft, is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worshipeth. And when they heard this, when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. You kick this Roman Catholic Marian idolatry, they'll just chant and cry out, you know, Hail Mary, full of grace, or Holy Mary, Mother of God. No different than when the uh, Greco Roman heathens would cry out, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. Same type of mentality. Uh, Jeremiah 44, verse 17 to 19. Here's the origins of the Queen of Heaven in Romanism. Jeremiah 44, verse 17 to 19, But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our mouth, out of, out of our own mouth, sorry, to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of uh, victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And, we, and when we burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and to pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? You know, that's, what, that's, that's the Queen of Heaven for you right there, an ancient Babylonian deity who the Jews were worshipping when they, when they went all apostate. And by the way, Judaism is every bit as false, uh, a false of a false religion as Romanism is. So just won't just uh, kick Judaism, another false religion as well. But we see there that the Queen of Heaven, the Babylonian deity, and we see the similar type of idolatry in this in this post by that Roman Catholic, saying essentially that would, essentially Jesus Christ would be, would be basically be nothing, or you can almost see as kind of them saying he's basically powerless without Mary. Yeah. Full on idolatry, plain and simple. Roman Catholicism is of the devil. Roman Catholicism undermines the supremacy of Jesus Christ. So don't be deceived by Romanism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.